Hi, I'm Matt Batty and welcome again to another Complete Wealth Update. Today we're talking uh, lending, borrowings and uh, and banks' response to the pandemic. Uh, and today I'm joined by our, our in-house mortgage broker and an all-round lending expert, Neil Smith. Hello, Neil. G'day, Matt. How are you going? I'm going good, mate. I'm going good. Um, so, look, there's a lot been happening across the board, obviously, with this um, response to this um the coronavirus um, scenario, and and one of the major concerns for a lot of people uh, is is their debts, obviously. So particularly uh, those of us who you know are still in the workforce, you know, we still haven't necessarily paid off our home loans, or we have business debts, or you know, even investment debts, etc. And we've seen a number of big responses. We know the Reserve Bank's come out and cut out interest rates quite substantially, sort of down to sort of record lows now. Uh, and we've seen the major banks also come out with responses in terms of offering particularly businesses things like repayment holidays and the ability to capitalise interests, et cetera. What sort of uh, measures have has been taken to help, you know, sort of your general home borrowers? Well, in, in simple summaries, Matt, the, the avenues, as you just mentioned, they can contact their bank and and, um, and get a bit of a holiday with their loan, home loan repayment. It's especially in the case with the people, like as we've seen with the uh, entertainment industry and the club industry and things like that, with people losing jobs, or there's been a major change to their circumstances that's occurred straight away. So the whole idea is, look, don't put your head in the sand if you're, if you're having struggling times to try and meet your actual home loan repayments or repayments. Give us a bell or contact your bank or we can hold hands together to make sure that we can get the right arrangement for you. Currently, a client I contacted me yesterday, went and visited the bank at 10 o'clock and said, what's happened to, um, what can happen to me and, and that person was in the um, hairdressing industry and as such and she obviously it's her circumstances changed last night with her ability to with the limitations on the amount of length of time of visits and the bank simply came back to her and said look if, if if your job or industry is cut well come and see us and we'll do everything we can to help you um, she, that person has a car loan and a you know and a home loan but at the end of the day um, you know, it's all about just keeping communicating. Don't think, oh my God, I can't make that repayment. I, I'll worry about that in three months when this all blows by and I'll catch up. If you show the signs of struggling up front straight away, well, get in contact with the bank early rather than later. That shows the bank that you're proactive in looking after your own arrangements and that you're on the front foot as such. Um, this is also going to be a great opportunity going forward um, you know, to, to review because there's, there's a lot of things happen as you just touched on with the two rate reductions in the in the one month. The last time the bank went back half percent was around GFC time. Mm-hmm. So they went one big lot of whack to help the economy. Obviously, this came in, in place or the virus came into play after the announcement in the first week in March. So the, the Reserve Bank acted in the middle of the month so as to make it easier for you. Those interest rate changes for, uh, that were announced in the middle of the month haven't necessarily, as you mentioned, uh, as help business clients and small business with major reductions by up to a percent, but it's mainly helped the fixed rate environment out there uh, where there's been major reductions of 0.7%, you know, down to 2.3%, 2.4% for a term loan if you want to fix it. They haven't really touched the variable type of market uh, with that type of reduction because they're relatively low and the initial March, the first week in March announcement is now passing on to you. So when a client has rang me um, in the last week and said, Neil, these rates are coming down a degree of knots, my analogy is to if you still work, you know, you're still employed and you're one of those lucky ones out there, is that have a look at about the second week in April, the first or second week in April, because that's when all those changes will come through and then you'll be able to compare like versus like. Because currently the, the banks are drip feeding through the changes um, of the of the rate reduction. Okay, so yeah, so there's, there's, I guess there's kind of two bits to that. One, let's talk about the people who are most likely to yep. be, you know, in stress, and then there's potentially some opportunities coming out of this as well. So, those people who, you know, um, you know, have got that kind of unimaginable shock of literally their industry or their job or their position or you know, major breadwinner yep. in some cases would be potentially even both breadwinners are now facing an, an uncertain amount of. Um, time before there will be any capacity really to earn income again. So, you know, that's going to create a huge amount of strain, emotional strain, let alone anything else. And I guess the one, you know, silver lining to this scenario is because because it is a, 
you know, a, a, a non-discriminatory action. So the banks sure. and governments have recognised this and said, look, we're going to take whatever action is required to kind of keep things sort of motoring along because the more that shuts down, the more that has to sort of start up again and, and, and that's much more difficult than, you know, even if we're, we're barely moving, you know, as a society, it's much easier to accelerate that out the other side. So the that's first right. thing, first point, I suppose, is, is to, be, to, to be really, really clear that, you know, no one really wants anyone to fail out of this, right? This isn't, this isn't the, the, the healthy, you know, creative destruction process of capitalism where it's, you know, underperforming businesses or jobs we don't need anymore need to go away. This is a case of we, we all need to get through this together. So, you know, that, that point's very important, I think, is contact your bank, you know, make that early conversation and say, look, you know, my, my capacity is going to be zero or whatever it's going to be, you know, for the foreseeable future. Let them know. Yeah. If people are really... Keep... Sorry? Sorry, are no, you right? Yeah. So if people are people are concerned about making that um, that conversation because you know there's a, a lot sort of going on, um, you know what what alternatives do they have in terms of getting help? Is is that something that that you're able to help them with? Yeah, absolutely. Look, give us a call if they're, they're uncomfortable making that type of call. Like we can obviously connect up and talk over the telephone and work our way through the process of what they need to do. Um, it's a, it's a hard thing for people to go to the bank and say that I'm in trouble like this pride of the pride of the, the regular Australian doesn't like to admit to being down but uh, it's the best the, the best avenue that you need to do is to try and contact your bank there's help lines there but keep in touch with us just give us a call uh, let us know what you're up to um, let me help you steer you through it um, you know I'll be able to you know we'll be able to get to, well, not so much get together, but we'll be able to guide you through the whole process of what you need to do. And it's not a daunting task. It's nothing to be scared of. Like this is, as you quite rightly mentioned, it's just not one industry going down. Mm. This is the, it's, it's reflective around the whole world. So there's a lot more people out there like you that are in that same position than what you think. So don't be scared to ring the bank if you're struggling with your repayments or whatever, or you can see foreseeable struggles. Give them a call. Get in touch. Get in touch with me if you need a hand or someone to talk to about the process and what's going to go on. Because hey, they're not going to come and kick you out of your home. Like at the end of the day, they're going to look after you in your best interest. Because the banks are, you know, have come out with those ideas of six month holidays and things like that. Okay, and what happens in six months? Well, let's deal with that in six months because yep. we don't know how long or what this what this uh, this epidemic is going to be. This 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 uh, virus is going to do to us in six months. Yep. So. If you've got any form of stress at the present time, don't hesitate to contact your bank. Give us a call if you want a hand and we can help you out and get you through this because we're all in one football team here. We're all one team and we're here to help you to get 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 to the end goal of when this tracks. Yep, okay. So there's, there's also going to be a bunch of people, though, who have an opportunity now um, because they have fairly secure incomes. They're either on, you know, um, you know, government employees or very large corporates, the ability to work from home. And so... They're not going to be in that same position where they're having that degree of stress. Uh, you mentioned before that you know it's really the fixed rates that have copped most of the sort of discounting. Is there an opportunity yep. for those who have some stability in their you know employment and a bit more certainty to potentially to sort of you know lock in a bit of a bargain at this point? Absolutely, yeah. Look, the, the rates are down at as low as what will I think we've ever seen in our entire life. Um, yeah, but as I said, as I said earlier, with the banks. They're just jockeying for positions at the moment and then announcing and drip-feeding through what they're going to do. I think they'll have that up to speed in about the second week in April, you know, first or second week in April when they've when all the changes and all the passing on of their rate reductions and then we'll be able to compare the exact products that are across your loan, for example, and what, what is available elsewhere. And that's an ideal opportunity. And I think they'll all put, probably pull in line, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have a good look at your own loan and say, okay, is there anything better out there? There may not be, and that's good. But at least you've done your due diligence to make sure that the product's right for you after this big hit to the world economy that's happened recently okay. or still so, happening. Yeah, so I guess you know the message isn't about buying some time, right, to say, okay, let's, you know, um, there's a massive degree of uncertainty for sure, and, and for some people there's literally no, no certainty. So yeah, taking a bit of a proactive step, you know, in these early stages, you know, um, it's not easy because there's a lot sort of going on. But you know that that's really going to pay a bit of um, dividend in terms of at least being able to, you know, relax a bit more and start to deal with the the physical things we have to do in terms of part of this um, uh, response, as opposed to just worrying purely about the financials. So, 
Appreciate Great. your time, Neil. Um, obviously, you know, you're available. People can contact. Details are on the website. Um, you know, if there's any questions or anyone wants to um, know a bit more about, you know, the, the particularly the banking response and, and what they um, need to do to sort of go about taking advantage of, you know, some of the um, um, leniency and, and, and things that the banks are offering. So, as always, yep. if you've got any questions, give us a call, um, hit us up, give us a ring, send us an email. Or we, we're here to help um, and let's all pull through this together. Yep, thanks, Matt.